We use emission factors to estimate emissions from different kinds of processes. An emission factor is how much of a certain amount of pollutant is emitted per unit of activity. That unit of activity could be the amount of wood that you're burning, the number of miles you're driving, the amount of fuel that a, a power plant is using, for example. And so you can go to a document put out by EPA called AP42, and that is a compilation of emission factors. For example, if I go look in this document and I want to know, I have a, uh, a coal-fired boiler I'm using to generate electricity, it uses pulverized coal, and I want to know what the emission factor is for SO2, I could look it up and I would see that it says 39 times S pounds per ton of SO2 from pulverized coal-fired boilers. And I would find that S represents the sulfur weight percentage in the coal. So if the weight percentage is it's 1% sulfur, then my emission factor would be 39 times 1, or just 39 pounds of SO2 per ton of coal that's burned. One other thing that we should talk about is the heating value of a fuel. And this is defined as the energy content per unit mass. So it will be in units like BTU per pound or maybe kilojoules per kilogram. This table shows um, an excerpt from AP42. It's emission factors for external bituminous and subbituminous coal combustion. Um, so for example, I talked about a pulverized coal-fired boiler and we were interested in looking at figuring out the emission factor for sulfur oxides. I was doing this in units of pounds per ton. And you can see that for all these different um, pulverized coal-fired boilers, my emission factor is 39 times S. And if I go down and read the footnotes, I could see that the S stands for the weight percent of sulfur in the coal. And that sulfur oxides here is really, it's mainly SO2. And that's what we were um, interested in. And if you look at the columns across the top here, there's also emission factors for particles, nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, non-methane volatile organic compounds, and then methane. So let's look at this example problem. A newly constructed power plant proposes to burn coal with a heating value of 10,500 BTUs per pound. If the percent sulfur by weight of the coal is 1.2%, determine the efficiency required to meet the new source performance standards. So what we need to do is first find the uncontrolled emission rate. Of SO2. This is the UER and it will be in units of we want it in units of pounds per million. 10 to the 6 BTU, because then we can go look up in a, in a different table what the uh, required control is. So this uncontrolled emission rate is um, equal to the emission factor divided by the heating value. And we can see that if we look at the units of the emission factor, which is pounds of SO2 per ton of coal, divided by the heating value, which is BTU per ton of coal. My ton of coal, tons of coal cancel out, and I have pounds of SO2 per BTU. 
which is what I want, so that I can then look up how much control I need. So the emission factor here is 39S, as we discussed. And so that's 39 times 1.2. And you use 1.2, not 0 0.012. And that gives me 46.8 pounds of SO2 per ton of coal. The heating value is given to us as 10,500 BTU per pound. So now I can go ahead and solve for the uncontrolled emission rate. It's equal to 46.8 pounds of SO2 per ton of coal. divided by 10,500 BTU per pound. I need to do a conversion here also to go between pounds and tons. So I'll multiply in the numerator by tons per 2,000 pounds. And that gives me 2.2 times 10 to the minus 6 pounds of SO2 per BTU of coal, uh, which I can write, of course, as 2.2 pounds per million BTU. Now, if I go and look up the maximum allowable emission rate, I would find that if the uncontrolled emission rate falls somewhere in the range of two to six pounds of SO2 per million BTU, then the maximum allowed, if we control it, is 0 0.6 pounds of SO2 per million BTU. Therefore, my required efficiency is I have to go from 2.2 down to 0 0.6. So it's the difference there divided by the 2.2. And that is 0 0.74 or 74%. Here's another example problem that will help us understand where that emission factor of 39S comes from for SO2. So according to AP42, the emission factor for SO2 from coal is 39S pounds per ton, where S is the sulfur content of the coal in percent. From basic principles, independently estimate the SO2 emission factor for coal that contains 2% sulfur and compare your result to the AP42 value. Assume all sulfur in coal is converted to SO2 during combustion. So we are being asked to find the emission factor in units of pounds of SO2 per pound of coal. From first principles, well, when you burn the sulfur in the coal, it goes to SO2, it gets oxidized, reacts with the oxygen. And the stoichiometric ratio at which that happens is that one mole of sulfur that's in the coal gets converted to one mole of SO2. How much sulfur did I start with in the coal? And then let's figure out what happens when all of that converts, gets converted to SO2. So if I start with 2% sulfur, what that means is that I can use that to get my emission factor. So my emission factor, I'm going to do a bunch of unit conversions. 2% sulfur in coal means I have 0 0.02 grams of sulfur per gram of coal. And now I'm going to go to moles because I need to get to moles because I know that the sulfur goes one to one to SO2. So I can divide by the molecular, the atomic weight of sulfur, which is 32 grams of sulfur per mole of sulfur. 
And now I can apply this stoichiometric ratio, which is that one mole of sulfur gives me one mole of SO2. Finally, I want to get to mass of SO2, so I multiply by the molecular weight of SO2, which is 64 grams of SO2 per mole of SO2. Notice that my units here cancel. I go from grams of sulfur to moles of sulfur to moles of SO2, and finally I end up with grams of SO2. And so this gives me 0 0.04 grams of SO2 per gram of coal, which is what I said I was going to try to get. Now, the uh, emission factor in AP42 is actually pounds per ton. So let's, let's sit, go to pounds first. So this is grams per gram, so it's going to be the same as pounds per pound. So this is 0 0.04 pounds of SO2 per pound of coal. Now I can use a conversion factor to get from pounds to tons. So I want to multiply by 2,000 pounds per ton. That's for the coal. And I get 80 pounds of SO2 per ton of coal. For comparison from AP42, I have that my emission factor is equal to 39 times S, so it's 39 times 2, which gives me 78. And remember, the units on that are pounds of SO2 per ton of coal. So these two numbers here, we've got the 80 and the 78. Those are pretty close. So that's where that 39S comes from.